I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Um, Hi, Sarah. I'm maybe Jeremy. Just, uh, maybe just kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible sequel, Murder Mystery 2. What can fans expect when they watch it? Um, so nice to, to meet you, Sarah. Uh, I expect what you loved about the first one, but it's bigger, it's more action, uh, it's it's really funny. Uh, there's a lot of Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler shenanigans, um, and it's it's a fun journey of who done it. And I don't know what it's like, kind of coming on board to a film when you haven't directed perhaps the first one. Um, but so much to love in that, the fact that it is kind of drawn on this Agatha Christie style whodunit. You know, these two absolute um, veterans of, of the rom-com and comedy genre, Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. Um, but what was the specific appeal for you? Uh, it was an incredible opportunity. I enjoyed watching the first one, and um, I love both Adam and Jen. I, I, I worked with Jen on, on the film The Breakup, and we'd always talked about wanting to work again, together. Um, and I've known Adam for a long time, and we've always wanted to work together. Or that I've always wanted to work with Adam, uh, and finally I had this opportunity. So it didn't really matter what the project was or whether it was a sequel. I knew that I knew that with the two of them, and the opportunity for me to to write and be creative and bring what what I do to this project, I, I knew it was going to be a, a fun and, and uh, amazing experience. And what do you think it is about these two? Because I've sort of grown up watching them kind of separately. Um, then you put them together as well. And it's just such a marriage of, you know, in the, the, the banter that they have with their characters and the physical comedy. And they just seem to bounce off each other so, so well. So what do you think it is about these two? I think they remind everybody of, like, their you're like best friends. They both feel like they both remind you of your, your best friends and you, that couple that you're just, you just, they're entertaining to watch whether they're on screen or whether you're at, you know, you're bowling with them. Um, they're just that, they're, they're both so funny. You love watching them give it to each other. You love like, uh, they both are so confident as individuals that they're able to make fun of the other and 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 take take it and then and then poke it give it right back um they're both so likable they have such huge hearts as people and that always comes through on 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 screen um and when you put them together you want you root for them as a couple and of course, even the, this incredible supporting cast, I mean, from Atiyah like Lakhtar, Jodie Turner-Smith, Mark Strong, um, we must have had a lot of fun kind of picking who was going to be in it and, and putting them all together. Yeah, it was incredible. It was an, an opportunity to, we really wanted to build an international cast of people who are um, not only looked different, but people who brought a, a, a different energy to to the, the film. And Really, we tried to kind of make an incredible dish of you know uh, of of people and cast that you could kind of just enjoy and eat this meal that has a taste of everything. Um, and it was wonderful. Everybody was, everyone was so um, kind to each other. Everyone really did everything that they could um, for the team for the film. It was, um, you know, there were some challenges with COVID, so that you know schedules were changing. And uh, but, but in the end, I I just really love our cast, and um, I'm, I'm I'm sad to the people who die, um, but I'm not gonna not gonna give not gonna give that away here. Um, and, and and kind of a reflection of that, you know, not just in the cast, but in this kind of mishmash of cultures. I mean, just sort of that opening wedding scene is just spectacular. The color and, and the level of detail that's gone into um, with the Indian influences, some of the French influences from the costumes um, uh, through to the to the dancing, and then when of course we move through the film and we're taken to the to the streets of Paris. I mean, there's just sort of no detail that's been left unturned. You know, so was it a lot of fun to put that together, but also really refreshing for audiences to see all that yeah i think with every single scene in this movie as soon as i saw the idea of it on the page i imagined okay well, what is the greatest biggest loudest version of this 
particular moment. And I knew that we were having an Indian wedding. And I'm a big fan of, of, of Bollywood style films. And um, th those dances are so beautiful where I said, well, we have to do a Bollywood film. So we started, I started watching a, a many and we, 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 um, hired a, a composer to compose a, an original song. Um, we had like incredible, uh, choreographers, Mahina and Avishai, um, who did such a beautiful job bringing in such an incredible team of dancers. And we wanted it to, to feel so authentic and, and um, overwhelmingly uh, stimulating. And uh, they just did, it was really fun and they did a great job. And I didn't, I, I also wanted to make sure that um, Adam and Jen as actors didn't know what the dance was going in. So they treated it as like trying to figure it out uh, with, while everybody else had rehearsed with the choreographer over and over and over again. So I hope, you, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. So thank you. And um, also to mention, you know, of course it's kind of a comedy, but actually the action scenes, you know, uh, can really rival a full on sort of action movie. Um, and so, and, and the stunts that you've done, and I think, I believe you actually built a kind of a, a restaurant in France, which you can kind of crash something into. So you really didn't hold back. Um, and I think that just kind of gives the film like another layer to it. It's not just kind of silly, it, you know, this is really full on action. These are full on stunts that you, you're pulling off. Well, I love uh, action. I grew up, you know, Die Hard, Lethal Weapon. These are these movies were, you know, influenced me. Um, and I haven't really seen an action comedy in a long time. And when we had the opportunity to, um, when we had the opportunity to take Adam and Jen on this adventure, I really wanted there to be. I, I really wanted to push the action and 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 flex that muscle. And um, you know, it's fun to watch Adam and Jen kick ass. You know. <laughs> Absolutely. And what do you hope that people can take away from watching the film? Um, and uh, like we said there, you know, is bring, do we see that many action comedies that often? Do we see enough of this kind of mix of cultures and two of our kind of like best known comedy figures being brought together on screen again? So there's a lot for people to enjoy there. Yeah, um, listen, my hope is that for the three and a half hours of, of that people could sit and watch this movie. I'm kidding. It's not three and a half hours. <laughs> uh, my, my hope is that the amount, of, the amount of time that people could just sit and watch this movie, they could shut their brain off and shut their life. That's any, whatever's going on in their life. They could just, just sit, have some popcorn and um, smile. They can be curious and kind of play the game and try to figure out who, who, who did it. Uh, they could be on the edge of their seat watching the action. And at the end of the movie, they can walk away saying, "I that was fun. I enjoyed it. I had a, a big smile on my face and, um, and they felt satisfied. And it's not work. It's not hard work to watch the movie. That's, that's the goal. I want it to be fun. Did you have a favorite moment on set or a moment when you watch it back now that you, you know, that you most excited for audiences to see? Um, I, I actually, I really loved that van. You mentioned the van chase where the, you know, we built a, Perry, Perry Blake built a, a cafe that we crashed the van into. That van chase took so much work up from so many people. Um, to watch it come together in the way that it did was, was, was incredible. Uh, and I had just an incredible team, incredible stunt team, an incredible second unit director, Spiro, um, amazing editors, uh, uh, storyboard artists. It, it just to see that come together was just incredible. I'm psyched for uh, everyone to see that scene. And can you quickly tell us what you might be working on next? And I guess you know more broadly, how do you see kind of the opportunities afforded by platforms like Netflix? It does feel like you know these sort of a big budget, multinational, um, you know, sort of really fresh. Uh, films are something that's, you know, an amazing thing to, to have, you know, and, and, and platforms like Netflix allow for that to happen. Um, I'm currently writing a, uh, a high school movie for my, um, I have a company called American High where we make high school comedies. So I'm currently writing a high school movie that uh, I'm hoping to shoot uh, this summer, at the end of the summer. Um, and where with, with um, companies like Netflix and Hulu, you just have the opportunity to reach so many more people um, in so many different countries and to 
bridge that gap, the culture gap. It's 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 been an incredible uh, journey watching how this business is, has changed storytelling for for the last ten years. Absolutely. Well, I'm out of time, but it's been such a pleasure to speak to you. So, so much such a pleasure to speak with you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.